Global markets kicked off a brand new month with strong gains. The major equity averages all soared about 2% on the session. Goldman Sachs and Apple added the most gains on the Dow in afternoon trade. Strength in U.S. ISM manufacturing boosted equities while higher oil prices helped extend gains. It's a positive start to the month, so let's hold on to that momentum and get straight to your closing bell. Happy Hour Report. In U.S. economic data, February ISM manufacturing came in at 49.5, about one point above expectations. It beat January's reading of 48.2. The data is still below the 50 contraction expansion level. In other U.S. data, construction spending rose 1.5% in January to its highest level seen since 2000. And the market manufacturing PMI for the latest month came in at 51.3, up from the flash reading of 51, but down from January's final 52.4 reading. And in energy prices, crude oil futures recovered from an intraday decline to settle higher by nearly 2% at $34.40 a barrel. And let's take a look at the closing numbers here on Tuesday. In company news, Ford Motor shares rallied 4% after sales in February shot up 20%. It was the best February retail sales in 11 years. And shares of Intercontinental Exchange fell 4% after the owner of the New York Stock Exchange said it, it is considering an offer for the London Stock Exchange Group. And Kate Spade rebounded from a pre-market drop following a sales miss and downbeat outlook. Shares were last up 9%. And Apple was in the spotlight on Tuesday as the House Judiciary Committee held a hearing on the issue of encryption and privacy. The FBI director told a congressional panel that a court order forcing Apple to give the FBI data from an iPhone belonging to one of the San Bernardino shooters would be potentially precedential. Now, Apple maintains that by asking it to weaken the security of its process uh, products, the FBI would set a dangerous precedent. And that does wrap it up for Super Tuesday in the first session of March. Thanks for watching and have a great evening.